guys, it's Chris and I'm working on Big Hoss here, the Amiga 4000 Tower. Well, as you know, I have a Zulu SCSI in this bad boy and it's been working wonderful. However, last night I spent six hours copying WHD load games from my network drive over the Aradney 2 Ethernet card to this device. Works fine, just slower than dirt. I'm going to launch WinUAE as an administrator because you need to do that to add stuff to it. I'm going to put this card in my SD card reader. Now with the Zulu SCSI, important safety tip, all the time when we add drives in, we're, we click add hard drive here because you want to add the device as an administrator. Well the Zulu runs off hard files, so we say add hard file, browse a path to the compact flash card and well, it says CF. That's just what I named it. You see I have two flavors. We're going to load HD1. Great. RDB, blah, 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 blah. I'm just hitting 4000T SCSI, ID2, go, and I'm going to hit start. Now, we, we freak out. There we go. Okay, so we had to add it in. Here is my DH1, DH2. System is, of course, the hard drive on the box. DH2, there's my games. DH1 has all my junk. And my demos folder. La la. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press F12. I need to add another directory. Paste that in here. Make sure it's not bootable. Say OK. In a second, it'll show up here. My network drive. You'll see the path via UNC for Windows. Have the Amiga Network Share, grab all of these, all, except you, and copy it. That is so much faster than my uh, compact flash car was doing. It's blitzing through files. For me, it was not blitzing through files, it was taking its good old time. Yay! So important safety tip, when you do the Zulu SCSI, remember that, oops, Remember to add a hard file, not the add a RDB drive. You can, but it'll screw everything up. It is currently 1.11 p.m. I'm going to let this rip for a minute, and we'll see how long it takes. Just zipping along. Got two copies of Opus going. My uh, SD card is blinking like somebody owes it money down here, because it's really writing. Don't feel like you're selling out, or you're emulating, or whatever, if you're a purist. Use it to your advantage, because it's speed. Unless you really want to sit here all day at the speed of, like, molasses, 90 speed, 10 megabit per second if you're lucky, copying 30 gigs of data, you could be there for a week. That's done. Quit. F12. Quit. Grabbing my card. One swoop. So, power, hard drive, speaker mute. And that. So we're scanning the repository now that I just did all that magic sauce with the WinUAE junk. Jesus was a demo maker. 4000T, 6060, quick pack. 160 megs of RAM, 50 megs of RAM. Let's see if it runs without crashing. A sensation requires a 75 megahertz 060 minimum. We have a 50. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> it's already off. Timing's all off. <laughs> nope. Now, the trick with this one is the names are supposed to pow, 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 pow. The names go with the beat. And watch, they're not. Oh my god. Holy crap. So. Yeah. Now, I know I'm 25 megahertz slower, okay? The timing's off. This is crap. Pymega 3 
runs this perfect. This is a real Amiga. Same demo, Pi Amiga 3. A sensation, favorites. Turn the sound on. A sensation. I want to show you what I'm talking about with that with that uh, timing. Now this is Pi Amiga 3. That's a real Amiga. Totally different. Stereo separation. Way better. It's a little loud. But you're looking at the names. I'm not going to go through the whole demo. Went bump, bump. And I want to show you what happens. Amazing. Listen to the flyby. Okay. Woo. Perfect. Buy Mega 3. And this works surprisingly well. No, no need to watch the whole thing. I just want you to see that it does work okay. Now before I had problems with the robot, after this section, okay. Now whenever I boot in PAL, just so you know, whenever I boot in PAL, I get these grainy lines on this display because it's an NTSC monitor, okay? But anyway guys, that's a quick update on how I did my, mainly it was for the copying process with uh, when UAE using a Zulu SCSI attaching a HD image card you can do this it's 10 times as fast to so just take a couple minutes grab that card out stick it in when UAE do what you need to and then throw it back in the real girl because while fun to use as a retro computer functioning on a modern level with this thing is next to impossibly slow based on the technology it is for its time 20 something years ago still hanging on really nice but that's all I got for now. Thank you for hanging out with me for a little while. Until next time, I hope you learned something. Funny, you bastard.